Yeah, they come. It's gonna take you a little while, but you'll get them. Ubiest of the Tubiest. The best YouTube subscribers on the planet. That's you. And I'm 50 plus. That right there is Devon. Is that right? Yes, sir. Or you can call him Devin. Or you can call him. What's that? Knucklehead. You know that. Uh, you probably. You, you, I'm sure you don't know that. There's a comedian that used to. You can call me this, so you can call me that, but don't call me the other thing. Oh, you know? Yeah. It's either that comedian or every goddamn woman you ever beat, right? I, I didn't say that. <laughs> Come on, it's a joke. So. You like that so far? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Hey, we slow about making video because because you've been on there for a little while. You only got about another week or two to go. You'll be done. What up to that smile? Hey, <laughs> hey it is what it is. <laughs> no. yeah, you know, he's almost done, so we needed to hear him do some catching up. So, uh, so how was your how was your how was your training? Did you enjoy the uh, the orientation part? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They, I mean. They basically teach you everything you need to know. Yeah. When it comes to uh, securement and hey, not just securement, you got tarping, how you roll them up and everything. They gonna teach you. Somebody and taught you how to roll tops? I mean, I already pretty much knew how to roll them, but they they had a, a, I, I, a need to, I need to show you the tops you know. <laughs> I mean, that was a little crooked. I'm yeah. still rusty. Man, look here. Yeah, a little, a little rusty. A little rusty. You know, bottom of the ocean for about 30 years rusty. Okay, look, that's okay, cause, cause you know we worked on it. Right. You know, and it, and, and you're gonna do it right. And then, and we have a tarp load right now, and you're gonna you're gonna be able to roll it. But you you did tarp this one by yourself. You did pretty good with that. You know. I appreciate you. Yeah, you I did good, you. man. I, I'm, I'm teasing. But, you know, <laughs> I know. He's done, he's done, yeah, know. He's done pretty well. But, you know. <laughs> What's up what? with the face? What, that? what face? That. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> let, me, let me clean it up. He just, he's doing very well. You know? I'm doing all right. Yeah, no, he's doing good. He's doing good. You, don't, you, don't, you, you only have a few more days, maybe... Um, Two to three more days at the max, and you'll be, you'll be gone. And it may not be that long. It might, you know, cause the mark. Cause, right. you know, we're not too far from Tulsa right now. Yeah. You know, if uh, if that if they give you the call and give you the nod, you ready? Yeah, yeah I know you can do it. You know, this it's, this job isn't isn't very difficult. You know, there's a, uh, you know, a few things that you just have to remember. You know, and. Um, you know the, uh, the send all of your macros in. Yes, you know form and manner is very important, and uh, you know so we have to make sure that's that's done, um, and uh, and be on time. And then um, for instance, today, like you shut you shut down, you still have uh, near three hours on your on your DOT. You know, but we stopped a little early, and uh, and uh, and we stopped because uh, outside of just running. You also have to uh, think about parking, right. you know. And between here and uh, the final, uh, this was was the best option. Otherwise, you keep driving, and next thing you know, man, you're you're low on DLT time, and every spot you try to stop at is full already. Right. So that's why that's why we don't do that. You know, be smart about it. You you know, you may have shut down a little earlier today, but you can now take off a little earlier in the morning. I mean, it is what it is. We have to make sound decisions, you know. Uh, backing looking pretty good, you know. You, you backed into this spot pretty good. Appreciate you. Yeah, it's not a big deal, you know. You know, only thing you gotta do is right now is just have to remember, uh, you know, on, on turns, you know. Was, um, uh, when we when you're making turns, you know, if you're gonna make a, a right turn, you need to you need to. If you make a right turn, you need to stay high left and and stay high left and hold the left side of the lane through the turn. And if you do that, your trailer tandems are gonna be just fine. That's right. You know? If you turn in right and you start leaning right, probably gonna have a bad day. Probably gonna dump them tandems in the ditch, and that ain't fun. That's, then you get a phone call from safety, eh? 
Yeah, yeah them, the that. phone calls ain't fun, you know. You know, and they're expensive. You know, so you know, uh, you know, those little things, you know, turn into big things. But you know, that's something that you got to, you know, you, you have to remember. And you, know, but you'll be fine. Yes, sir. You'll be fine. You know, um, I know when we first started talking about uh, the things that you wanted to work on, backing was one of them. In fact, backing is always the number one thing. I say, hey, what do you want to work on? First thing they say is backing. <laughs> you know, I'm going, man, backing ain't hard. You know, you just need to be you need to be shown a uh, a different way because most guys get on here, it's always the same cookie cutter thing, you know? That's you what know? they teach you. Yeah, and they, they, they I understand it, and they teach these things because they just want you to pass a DLT test, you know? Right. And, and then you pass a DLT test and then, you know, that is that method isn't skilled enough to get you in, uh, in you know, regular parking spots and stuff, you know? Yeah. But you got this one. Got it. It's not on. It's not on. What'd you do before you came here? Uh, Make a bunch of babies. Get what? Uh, nah, yeah, nah. you did. You did. So, <laughs> so, so, <laughs> we ain't gonna speak on that. You, you made. You made you made two of them in one day. It wasn't. It's like when was that? When was that? Uh, Yesterday? Uh, no. When was it? What you mean? No, you made. They don't know what you mean. You made two babies. Where they come from? You got them. When? 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 The bird. The bird dropped them off. Is they did the stock? Yeah, 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 what did you drop them off? I don't know. Last week. Last week. Yeah. yeah. So they were how many days old now? They about a week old now. Yeah. 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 Wait a minute. Yeah, last week. So, but he was he was on the truck when they when yeah. they when they when they when, yeah. they, when the stock dropped them off. Yes, sir. Man, is the, the stock making uh, monthly payments too? It's, a, it's strange how they do that. I know, right? The stock dropped them babies off, but they quit dropping. They don't drop no child support or nothing. You just got to now go out and, you know, drive trucks, you know, <laughs> all day, every day so you can make sure, you know. Then you got to drive two trucks because you got two of them at one time. <laughs> now I can drive one truck. Yeah, you yeah, you got to drive it forward and backwards. You got to do whatever you got to do to make that happen. Left and right. Yeah, left <laughs> and right. Yeah. But that's a good thing, man. That's congratulations. Not a whole lot. You get to have twins, man. Yes, sir. That's a big deal. That's a good deal. Let you take some pictures. Yes, sir. He ain't even showed me no pictures. My bad. That's all right. I, I when, show when, it when we're done, uh, you can show me some pictures. So before I cut you off and, and, uh, and put that on you, what'd you do before you came here? Uh, warehouse work. Yeah. 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 Got tired of drivers coming in. Oh, I'm making this much off of a load. <laughs> so I was like, sure, let me get in the game and see how much they really making off the load. But so far, you yeah. know, I'm, I'm touching bases on some of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna be, you're gonna be fine. You know, um, I like finding out what guys did before they they came uh, decide to make that decision to come come right. drive trucks because a lot of guys. Uh, have had uh you know dreams of, of of driving these big trucks and and you know all the muscle and power and everything and it we just kind of like that it gets in i think every male has a little bit of that in them you know yes, but a lot of guys think well you know like it's just just can only be a dream they don't realize that uh, it, this is this is very doable, very reachable, right. and you, you can do really, really, really well, really well. You know, far above the national average. That is by far. You know, and uh, you know, warehouse work isn't isn't a, a bad thing to do. You know, I mean, uh, I don't. I definitely wouldn't speak ill on it or any other uh, line of work. But uh, you know, this isn't really a line of work this is actually a career you know right you know and you and you pick the right genre because with a uh, flatbed man you know the sky's the limit you see all these these boxes here i mean there's a reefers and dry vans um they're limited to what's inside that box right they are limited to the confines of that box that tanker is limited to what's inside that tanker that's it but when you're doing open deck work flatbed you can do all kinds of things man i mean you can run stretch trailers and you know you know you can do this long enough to uh get enough experience to, to pull multi axles and uh and you know the sky's the limit 
there's no there's no uh no confinement on that trailer that's why you got those banners say ob you can put whatever you need on there wild yeah wild baby we don't we don't we don't put wild low banners though make sure you we only do oversized banners put a wild low banner somebody will come slap you on the wrist you don't want to, you don't want to do that you know. You know, other than that, you know, uh, you 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 uh, you you're went through orientation. That was that was a cool deal, and yeah, then cool. Uh, took you what uh, two weeks, three weeks? How long did it take for the orientation? Two weeks. Two weeks, and then and then you wait for me two to come again. Two weeks in a piece, I guess, because you gotta wait on the train. Yeah. How long so, did you have to wait for me? Just what a day. Yeah, I drive pretty fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Worked out, though, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't drive no fast. This truck will let me downhill. <laughs> but we got you there. And so now it's almost done. You know, the trainer portion, you know, actually being on the truck with the trainer, you know, what do you think about that? This is great. As long as, you can, as long as your trainer and you put forth the effort. Yeah. That's, a, that's the key word, effort. Because yeah. Because you could get on there and not do nothing. You won't be put forth the effort you want to learn how to do the things you need to come close to yeah <laughs> yeah 80s blind side and uh y'all can see out of that mirror right up in that corner right there there's a uh a tank now and also they're not 53 foot trails either and his tandems are see his tandems are already to the rear yeah you know so he can he can knock it out it's not gonna be a big deal for him so they got everybody waiting on them. And that's one thing about, uh, you know, backing practice. And you're going to do it also when, when you're when you're solo driving. You're going to do some backing practices on, on your own. Yes, sir. And uh, the best time to do them is in the middle of the day when these truck stops aren't as full. And, uh, and uh, you know, you're not under so much pressure. So this guy just backed in. You'll see him backing in right there. And he had uh, a couple of trucks waiting on him, and they seemed to be a little bit more patient than some. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so, uh, you know, I tell the guys when they get off my truck to make sure that they do these same things. Make sure they go do those backing practices when you get your truck. Uh, you know, uh, it, the atmosphere is a little different. You know, mainly because you don't have a trainer sitting next to you going, don't hit nothing, you know, do it this way, do it that way. You got your own self to do it, you know, you rely on your own self. And and when you are uh, um, doing it alone and you're stopping your day, you know, in the middle of your run, pull into a truck stop and do a couple backs and pull off, eventually a day is going to come when you say, oh, I think I should do some backing practices. And then you're going to pull up, man, I ain't on no more backing. I'm done. <laughs> You know, and and when that day comes, you know that's a good indicator that you that your your boy would practice. You, 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 the challenge isn't isn't it's not a challenge anymore, right. and you've and you've succeeded. Right. You know, and it don't take very long. It just takes effort. You have to actually do. That's that word, effort. Yeah, effort. Yeah, that's it. That's it. All right, so I guess now I'm gonna let him go get a. A fishing pole, or a, a, a broom, and a piece of string, and go to the ditch back here and do some fishing. Yeah. You ready on that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I know he is. Yeah. All right, that's enough yabbering. Until I see you again, deliver a distracted. Here's your boot. Yeah. Boop.